Elisha and the Siege of Samira. Ben Hadid, king of Aram, mobilized his entire army and marched to lay siege to Samira, where the king of Israel lived. The siege lasted so long that food supplies in Samira became scarce. The people were starving. Any food left was being sold at high prices. King Jehoram of Israel became distressed when he heard the desperate measures people were taking to find food and look for someone to blame. He tore his robes and declared, May God deal with me severely, if the head of Elisha the prophet remains on his shoulders today. Elisha was at his house in the city with the elders. God let him know what the king was planning and he told the elders, the murderer was sending someone to cut off his head. But when the messenger and the king arrived, shut the door and hold it shut against them, he said. The king arrived outside the prophet's house, supported by an officer, but could not get in. This disaster is from the Lord, the king shouted. Why should I wait for the Lord any longer? Inside the house, with the door blocked, Elisha replied, the Lord says that by this time tomorrow food will sell at cheap prices. The officer with the king mocked the prophet's claim. Even if the Lord opened the floodgates of heavens, this could not happen. Elisha shouted back to the officer, you will see it with your own eyes, but you will not eat any of it. At the entrance to the city gate were four men with leprosy. They said, if we stay here, we will die. Let's go over to the camp of the enemy and surrender. If they spare us, we live, if they kill us, then we die. At dusk they got up and went to the camp of the Aramean army. When they reached the edge of the camp, no one was there. The Lord had caused the enemy forces to hear the sound of a mighty army approaching. Fearing the king of Israel had hired the Hittite and Egyptian army to attack them, they had left everything and fled for their lives. The four men with leprosy entered one of the tents. They ate and drank until they were full. Then they took silver, gold, clothes and went off and hid them. They returned and entered another tent. They took some things from it and also hid them. Then they said to each other, what we're doing is not right. This is a day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves. Let's not wait till daybreak, but report this to the royal palace. So they shouted out to the city gatekeepers who reported their news to the king. The king was very suspicious of the news, he said, they are setting an ambush to draw us out of the city and once we go out they will attack us. One of his officers suggested they take the five remaining horses in the city, harness them to chariots, and go and see what was going on. The two chariots set off immediately from Samira and traveled all the way to the river Jordan. When they returned, they reported that the Aramean army had fled and the road was filled with clothing and equipment scattered everywhere. God had kept his promise. There was a stampede out of the city as everyone rushed to grab the food the fleeing army had left behind. Just as Elisha had prophesied, there was so much food it now sold at low prices. Now the king had put the officer who had mocked Elisha in charge of the city gate. In the mad rush to get out of the city, he was trampled to death. So just as Elisha had said, the officer saw the food but did not taste any of it. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.